good morning thanks for joining me welcome to another day in the life video it's a beautiful sunny morning we had a lovely week in fact it's wednesday today and um, not doing anything special in fact it's been a very worky week because we go away on holiday next week so um just cracking on with getting stuff done but um thought I'd, i'm gonna do some vaguely interesting cooking bits and um We'll, we'll, we'll just chat about stuff along the way. I've got a couple of bits to show you and talk about and all of that good stuff. So I'm on my way. It's quarter past nine now. I woke up ridiculously early. Has anybody else been waking up really early with the light mornings? It's um, a blessing and a curse, isn't it? Definitely a blessing and a curse. But um, anyway, I'm off to Marks and Spencer's. Need to get some new knickers before my holiday. I bought some of those no VPL ones and I'm not getting on with them at all. They got my bum. Can't be doing with them. I, I can't, I'm not a thong person. And any knickers that head up my bum, I, ju I just can't deal with it. I find it so uncomfortable. Um, again, anybody else with that? Or is that just me? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to um, yeah go to Marks and Spencer's. I've got a few foodie bits to get for a couple of things I'm cooking today. And... Um, then at home for work so you can come with me let's go and see what we can find in Marks and Spencer's well I'm outside Marks and Spencer's I have fully intended to film a little bit in there it was absolutely heaving considering it's oh I suppose it's five past ten now I had to go and drop off a parcel and bits and pieces and I filmed a video before I came out so should have come an hour earlier but oh my god it was busy in there it's getting towards holiday time as well now and um, in fact it probably is holiday time it's the end of May for goodness sake so get a lot of holiday makers come down there's a free bus from Torquay town to and probably other towns as well to here it's sort of a retail park and um I think a lot of people get the free bus and sort of make a day of it and come and have a wander around Marx's and go to the cafe and go to Sainsbury's and all of that stuff. So, um, yeah, it was much busier than I anticipated. It's getting to the time of year that I will only go out, or I go out shopping first thing in the morning to beat the crowds. But, um, yeah, the, I didn't really have a look around the clothing. I spent a long time being confused by the various different types of knickers. And um, I bought some. I'm not convinced they're the right ones, but we shall see. I feel like sharing of what type of knickers one's buys is um, a step too far for YouTube, really. <laughs> but, um, the fact I'm even talking about it is probably an overshare, isn't it? But um, anyway, yeah, I didn't really look around. The I walked through the sort of clothes department and lots of lovely summery colours. And um, I, I saw loads of um, sort of good basics, some nice denim shorts in lots of different colours and um, lots of T-shirts and tops and summery bits. So, um need to go and have a good look at some point but um, I don't think it's going to be before I go away because time is marching on isn't it anyway home and I will show you what I bought right I'm home it's quarter to 11 did pop into a charity shop on the way back from Marks and Spencer I forgot they've opened a new big clearance charity shop up there um, and I got show you this very nice Three quid fringed kimono by two Sainsbury's. That is the pattern. Um, it's a 20, so I don't know if it will fit, but um, I'll try it on a bit later and have a see, see if it fits or not. Um, sorry, I'm feeling very distracted. I'm thinking about six different things at once. Right, I'm just getting everything out of the bag. This is all food stuff, food stuff that I am going to use today for various things most of it anyway kind of chickpeas most exciting thing ever um green pesto they do the nicest fresh pesto in Marks and Spencer's um zero percent greek yogurt that's for making a dip um quite fancy I haven't tried this one before this is the zero percent greek yogurt with honey split sort of like a muller type one that sounded nice gnocchi very much on the fence about gnocchi, but we had them a little while ago and quite enjoyed them and I've got a recipe with them, so I'll be showing you that later. It was meant to be pancetta, but I couldn't find any, so I got some very thinly cut streaky bacon, which is much the same. It will do, won't it? And a couple of flatbreads. And I was influenced 
even the influencers get, influencers get influenced, you say, by Cardiff Mum on Instagram, who said this is the nicest kitchen cleaner ever. It is Italian lemon and ginger. Shall I give it a sniff and see if it... Oh yes, that is very nice and fresh. I love ginger in anything. It's very uplifting, isn't it? And um, yeah, nice. It's plant-based and biodegradable as well, apparently, although obviously the plastic bottle, not so much. But um, anyway, yes, that's my little shopping haul. And I'm now going to edit for the rest of the morning until lunchtime. And then I will come back to you and show you exactly what I'm having for lunch because I'm hoping it's going to be quite nice and it's something different. It's 25 to 1 and I'm just about to make some lunch. Today I am making, not sponsored, chickpea kofta flatbreads. Um, it's a Simply Cook recipe. I've talked about Simply Cook before. They send you the recipe card and the three sort of spice mixes or stocks in here and you buy your own fresh ingredients. So thought this sounded like quite a nice little um, recipe. So it calls for, to start with, a tin of chickpeas, which I'm just draining over there. Um, a small red onion. I've got half a red onion, which is quite a large one, so that will do. And a slice of brown bread. I don't have any brown bread, so I'm doing it with white bread because I am a rebel. Um, so I'm going to mix all those in the food processor to make the, with the kofta seasoning to make the little kofta executive decision i'm adding an egg because that mixture is not going to stay together when i make it into kofta right koftas are made the addition of the egg was very necessary i would say right it says 20 minutes in the oven so i'm going to do 15 in the air fryer i'll check them after 12 and um yeah yummy can we just take a moment while my koftas are cooking to appreciate the weather Blue, blue sky, green, green trees, so lovely. I feel like I need to appreciate the sunshine after having moaned about the weather. So, sorry, I'm squinting, but so much. I feel like we need to take a moment in every video to appreciate the weather. Right, I've got something nice to show you. Right, I have talked to you many times about Vivea shoes and how much I love them. Honestly, I truly do. They are the most comfortable shoes I own and I love them. And they've currently got a campaign going for all these different coloured shoes. The idea is that you have your favourite shoes and you can buy them in an array of colours. And I'm going to put what I'm talking about. I'm going to put some photos in from their website. So you can see how much they have widened their selection in terms of colours. They're just gorgeous all the colors of the rainbow and another thing that i've noticed that i think is really brilliant is that they do nude shoes and they do them in a range of different colors for all different skin tones because we don't all have the same color skin do we which is absolutely brilliant i really like that and um, i've got some new shoes to show you from them let me start with in fact, I don't even know what I'm starting with because I'm just opening the boxes and I don't know what order they're in. I've got three pairs. One pair is for my mum. In fact, these are the pair that my mum chose because she wanted to try them. And so I asked her which one she would like. And they did send these to us, by the way. Um, and the, these are the ones that my mum chose. Just a very neutral, flat, sort of almond toe, very classic super neutral go with anything and i'm sure she's going to absolutely love them because these shoes are so comfortable now they don't advertise them as wide fit shoes but they just mold to your feet so perfectly i have wide fit i i if there is an option to buy wide fit i always do but i've never found that these have been too narrow for me so if you have wide fit honestly don't worry because they fit so nicely now the best thing about the fact that they've got all these different colours is you can get your favourite shoes in a multitude of different colours so you don't have to have different ones just to get a different colour. Now my very favourite ever Vivea shoes, I'm a bit ashamed to show you these because I've lived and died in these, are my black flat, I think the um, name is Tamiya and they've got a little knotted um, part at the front and they are my favourites. I wear them, I only wear them around the house now because I've had them for a very long time although 
most of Vivea's shoes washing the washing machine beautifully. I was really worried the first time I put them in the washing machine. I thought, oh my God, they're gonna come out all right, but perfect. So I've now got them in red. How gorgeous is that? Loving that, lovely bright red to go. Perfect for spring and summer. And I also have them in this beautiful beigey nude shade, which is just perfect for matching with anything at all, just like the color my mum chose. These made out, each pair of shoes is made out of six plastic waste bottles. They are, the ethics are brilliant behind this brand. I really like it. That's the padded insole so comfortable i can't say enough good things about them price wise they're a little bit up there but they are absolutely worth it i know that a lot of you guys have tried vivea if you haven't and you're thinking about it i do have a discount code i'll pop all the information down in the description box and also in the pinned comment for anyone who struggles to find the description box so very happy with my lovely new shoes thank you to vivea for sending them i'm not being paid for this it's just a brand that i really love and i wanted to talk to you about when they gave me the opportunity to do so yeah and how good does that look so i've got kofta's with a toasted flatbread some shredded lettuce and cucumber and they've got a molasses syrup i can't remember what it was it was pomegranate molasses um you put after the um kofta's are cooked you put some of that onto them and then the dip is yogurt, cucumber, and like a minty sauce that was also in the Simply Cook box. I can't wait to eat this. Right, it's two o'clock. Lunch break is done. And good news, there's enough of that mixture, the, the kofta and the rest of the stuff left over for two more lunches. So that's all good. And bad news, I didn't get quite as much work done this morning as I hoped so got some more to do this afternoon much as it would be nice to spend the afternoon sitting on the balcony enjoying the sunshine that is not what's going to happen today never mind um I just while I was having my lunch I watched Real Housewives of New Jersey Teresa's wedding oh my goodness what a spectacle then at the end of it they showed the trailer for the three-part reunion that looks as though it's going to be full of fireworks for anyone else who watches it. Um, yeah, heavens. Right, back to work. Good morning. Yes, it's the next day. It is Thursday and it is going to be a very, very good Thursday today. The sun's shining, the sky's blue, the birds are tweeting. My hair is going to be cut and coloured. Praise be this afternoon. I cannot wait. Um, and then I'm going out for dinner with my best day we're catching up this evening which will be lovely looking forward to that and then I'm picking William up from the station because he's coming home from Thursday till Monday and I cannot wait to have him home um Georgie's not joining him this weekend she's doing her she's deep in her dissertation for her the end of her university course and it's her final year so um she's busy with that so in a way it's kind of nice to have a little family time together the three of us but much as we love georgie you know it, it is nice we very rarely get um family time just the three of us now because we are sort of a family of four now which is lovely but um it would be nice to have him home i can't wait to have him home um bless his little cotton socks anyway yesterday ended up going a little bit south it um uh, i think i last spoke to you after lunch and i was going back to my desk to finish bits off i ended up sitting at my desk for in excess of 10 hours yesterday a couple of jobs that i'm working on have had issues that have necessitated a lot of back and forth and um just time consuming stuff you know and there was a bit more of that yesterday and it's always lovely when paid youtube work comes in however when you're balancing that against going away first world problems i know um very lucky to be going away absolutely not complaining about that at all but it, there's sort of time pressures in there as well so it's it was yesterday was all a bit stressful and by the time i left my desk at about half past six quarter to seven or something like that I, I felt absolutely 
I'd lost the ability to communicate. You wouldn't have wanted to see me at that point. So um, there was a couple of issues that I wanted to chew over with Ashley, business type stuff. So I did that. And then we had a nice dinner sitting outside on the balcony and um, Ashley cooked some gnocchi. Never sure whether I like gnocchi or not. I'm, I'm a bit of a late comer to gnocchi and I'm not a fan of dumplings, you see, and they're quite dumplingy, aren't they? So yeah anyway that was an aside so yeah anyway new day new start i re i feel like i've been absolutely desk bound this week which is fine i don't mind doing stuff at my desk which is good because i spend a lot of time at my desk but i want to spend a bit more time doing other stuff today so i'm going to allow myself timed 15 minute stints at my desk um in between doing other stuff so I'm going to have to be very focused. My hair appointment's at four o'clock this afternoon, so I've got all day until four. It's just two minutes after nine now. So far this morning, got up, showered, got semi-dressed. I haven't put my makeup on yet because I'm going out this afternoon and then this evening, I thought I'd put my makeup on around lunchtime. So hopefully it will last longer, otherwise it will look a bit not at its best by the time I go out this evening. So that's the plan. I've put some laundry into the machine to wash and I have had a quick tidy up. I've made the bed. Um, what else have I done? Oh, I've wrapped some parcels. I've answered some emails. I've done my eBay admin for the day. Got a lot more stuff that I do want to get done though. So I'm going to start by doing a quick parcel run. Just got to go to one parcel shop this morning and I'm going to make, jot down at some jobs that I need to do on here. I still need to check in for my cruise next week. I haven't checked in, printed the paperwork. There's a couple of bookings I need to do. I really need to get around to that. I'm going to make that a priority this morning. And of course, as ever, some eBay bits and pieces. So that's all going to keep me busy. I'm going to, I thought what I might do is come back to you every hour and sort of talk to you and show you what I've been doing. Someone suggested that I did hour by hour day in the life videos the other day. And I used to do those when I was doing stuff about my work, my reselling and stuff. Um, but I feel like it would be more boring now because a lot of what I do is not that interesting at all but I thought I might try that little format for today and come back to you at 10 o'clock I'm going to set an alarm on my phone and um, I'll tell you what I've been doing then just back from the parcel run it's getting on for half past nine probably is 25 past nine and um, I've just been contemplating in the car the uh, sorry the camera's so close I've got something under my arm that I'm carrying um yeah, I've been contemplating the talking to you on the air about what I've been doing thing. And I feel like that's not going to work. It's not going to make for an interesting vlog. If I just pick up the camera once every hour and go, this is what I've been doing for the last hour. I feel like vlogging is more of a showing you what I'm doing as I do it type of activity. So I'm not sure that's going to work. Anyway, I'm about to make some breakfast and tidying up the kitchen a little and these candles are both finished that one doesn't look as though it's finished from that side but it is it has tunneled a little bit um so i need to get the wax out so i can recycle the jars so i'm going to boil the kettle and pop boiling water into them i believe you can do it with put them in the freezer as well but i've never tried that today's breakfast my go-to breakfast pretty every pretty much every weekday at the moment strawberries with yogurt and a little handful of granola over the top i've got i'm using this yogurt this muller light um coconut greek style coconut with a hint of vanilla and it's okay but i usually use the um greek yogurt in big pots the shop's own brand ones and see if I've got now I haven't got one to show you at the moment but um I usually use those and they're not sweet at all and I usually put a drizzle of honey over the top of it before I put the granola on and that's really nice but I've really noticed the difference in how sweet these are and they're light so I'm guessing they're stuffed full of sweeteners so very tasty but probably not the best in terms of health so I know everything's got bloody sweeteners in it these days hasn't it but yeah Right, I have to do my first 15 minute stint at my desk. Okay, it is 10 past 10 and I have cleared this table other than the lemons and limes which are going to go in to replace the eggs to make a more summery 
display there. Um, I had a big box of stuff on there, which was um, stuff for a haul video that I filmed a couple of days ago. And it just all needed sorting out and pushing away. I've done all that. I also, for my first 15 minutes at the desk, cleared the desk. Hurrah. It is now clear and ready for action. So, making progress. We are getting towards feeling more organised, which was the main aim of my day today. But like we've got my halo on, don't I, there? It's 5 to, it's 11 o'clock. I thought it was 5 to 12 for a minute. I was gonna say, God, where's the morning gone? I set a 15 minute window to do all my cruise stuff, my checking in and put my passport info in, credit card, all of that stuff, you know, and then also booking some dining reservations and some couple of things to do in ports that we wanted to do. And it took much longer than 15 minutes. It ended up taking about half an hour. It necessitated a phone call to my brother and a phone call to my sister-in-law and all of that stuff. So while well, that was going on, I got a Sephora parcel. Nothing exciting. Replacements for two products I already own. Um, the Colour Wow well that I finished, that I talked about extra large bombshell volumizer didn't realize how good it was till it ran out and i started using a vo5 one that was really not very good at all so that's a replacement and this one is a replacement for my um barely there texture mist it's called cool girl which i've had for absolutely ages i'm just on the bottom now and that's it's somewhere between a hairspray and a texturizing spray and it's absolutely bloody brilliant I can't believe I'm sitting here with hair that looks like what my hair looks like today. Talking about hair products that are very good. Um, I will link them both below if you have flat, unvolumized hair. They are both ruddy brilliant, ruddy brilliant. Put links in. And um, I had a code for Sephora, or I didn't have one, but I found a code for 15% per percent off at Sephora, which worked. It was um, Becky Reynolds code. I think it's Becky SPH. I don't want to put that in the description box because it's not my own code. I don't know if I'm meant to do that with someone else's code, but um, yeah, Becky SPH, I'm pretty sure is the code for 15% off at Sephora. Um, also got a couple of samples. I got Charlotte Tilbury Glow Toner haven't yet found a Charlotte Tilbury product that I thought was worth the money, so that would be interesting. And this stuff, the Glowish, um, it's like a tinted serum, almost like a BB cream. I really like it. I had this sample last time. You pick your own samples at Sephora. And um, I had this last time and very much liked it. So I got it again. I went to, I toyed with the idea of buying it while I was ordering these two. I thought, oh, shall I get a full size one? Um, and um, it was £34. Bearing in mind, I've just bought three Revolution foundations, which I really like for a fiver. I removed it from my basket to my wish list instead. Um, <laughs> that'll be for another time, but it is a really nice product. Right, I'm going to pop these away, and it must be time for a coffee, I think. Well, it is. 12.19, 12.19 already. And I have just drawn the winner of the Body Shop giveaway. Do you remember a few weeks ago? Oh, it's all happening here. I did a giveaway for Body Shop um, Camellia Chamomile Cleansing Butter. I'm trying to say that, I've had a few gins. Um, Body Shop um, Pink Grapefruit Body Butter and the Pink Grapefruit Shower Gel and I have left a message, a reply to the comment, but the winner is Yvonne Hewitt. So congratulations, Yvonne. Um, if you, I put a message on, a reply to your comment on YouTube. Sorry, I'm just getting a fresh battery because my camera battery is flashing at me. Bear with. Um, yeah, if you haven't already, Yvonne, please email me um, with the... Um, I'll put my email address in the description box, but please email me with your address details so I can post your goodies off to you. Congratulations, well done. Right, it's been a manic morning. I have got lots done. I have caught up with lots of stuff. I've had some phone calls and um, done some tidying and some sorting and um, I needed to 
create a couple of spreadsheets, which I always find not the easiest. I'm not great. And at this point, my battery ran out, I'm afraid. It's just after three, five past three, and I am just about to put on some makeup and get changed, ready to go. And I can't tell you how much I usually don't look forward to going to the hairdresser, especially when it's a long thing like it is today. Because I think, oh God, all the things I could be doing while I'm sitting there. But I've been so busy this week that I'm actually quite looking forward to it. I'm gonna take my book so I can read while my hair cooks, you know, when they put the um, dye on it in the foils. Um, right. Oh, I can feel my skin drinking that moisturiser in. Um, I just want, I've been, if you, should I finish a sentence in a minute? <laughs> if you listen to my podcast, you will have heard, or my podcast with Carla even, our podcast, you will have heard that um, I bought a big vintage job lot, or when I say big, I mean giant of stuff to resell. My other job, apart from you doing YouTube, for anybody who doesn't know, is um, selling on eBay, which I've done for over 20 years now, but sort of full time until YouTube became more of a full time thing um, since about 2016, 2017, I think. Anyway, um, yes, just happened to be a right place, right time thing last week, and I got this big, huge, massive haul of stuff. Um, it was in Bournemouth and actually came down in a transit van that we borrowed to pick it all up because there was no way it was going in cars and the transit van, I'm not joking, was absolutely full to the brim. It's, there is so much stuff. Um, and it's a lady's lifelong collection of clothes, shoes, jewellery, hats, hair pieces, um, ju just ju everything, everything. Um, it, there's so, so much of it, it's quite overwhelming in fact, the, the sheer amount of stuff that there is. But um, I've been sort of going through it gradually and trying to process some of it and um, today I found some unused silk underwear, beautiful silk underwear, unused, unworn, it's from, according to the labels, from the 80s just exquisite and it made me think about that thing we've talked about before where we say don't save things for best and it's so true isn't it this beautiful it, that obviously it wasn't cheap you know underwear that was obviously bought um and and just never wore maybe waiting for the right occasion and it never arose or, or maybe she had so much stuff i mean it was I can't, I can't tell you the amount of stuff. She was proper hoarder, this lady. Um, she died. It was her daughter who um, was getting rid of it all. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it really made me think, it's so how sad it is to have lovely things that just have never seen the light of day and never been worn and you've never got the pleasure for. Obviously owning the stuff because she had so much of it and kept it all and... You know, obviously just owning the stuff was, you know, in, a lot of enjoyment to this particular lady. Um, I was asking her daughter about her a bit because it's um, always nice to know a little bit of the background of stuff you have to resell. And it's when stuff has been loved and enjoyed as much as this lady's collection of stuff very obviously was so many of the clothes in you know dry cleaning bags and beautifully hung and uh, ju just really nicely looked after um it fit reselling it and rehoming it to people who will get more enjoyment out of it i said to the lady izzy she was called uh, i said it's a real it feels like a real privilege to do that you know a real it's a nice thing to be able to do, to take something that was loved by somebody and rehome it to somebody else. It's something that I get a lot of joy from within what I do. Um, and yeah, but don't, don't save the things for best people. Don't save them for best because, you know, we never know what's going to happen, what's around the corner, do we? We've talked about this before. 
that are more important as we get older than ever before, I think. But uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it, but it's come, these, as these things do, it's come at a time when I was cutting down my reselling a bit. Um, I've definitely been doing less. I think I talked about that at the beginning of the year that I was planning to cut it down and I have done and now I've got all this stuff to sell so you just never know what's around the corner do you you just don't know and it is it's really interesting going through it all and vintage vintage a lot of it is from the 80s which is fab because the 80s is really my sort of era and um, I'm enjoying it but it's it's in three different areas of the house at the moment there's a massive load in the front hallway which I'm trying to get rid of um go through quickly so we can empty the hallway then there's another load in the inner hallway and the out in the my eBay storage out the back in the what we call the summer kitchen which but which is really a conservatory um and we don't use it as a kitchen in the summer the previous owners called it summer kitchen I, but we've just carried on with it i don't really know why um but there's loads and loads of it out there as well and i'm trying to sort of pro get have an initial go through everything and pull out anything that's dross or damaged or you know that it won't sell or isn't um you know or, or dirty or whatever needs to clean or any of that so um it's gradually all being moved upstairs but yeah it's a, it's a lot to be doing that and um i've had a lot on with youtube this week and as i, I think i said that earlier and yeah it's just been all been a bit manic but looking forward to the weekend it's the last may bank holiday this weekend this is the one that they call labor day we were discussing i can't remember if it was on here or in a podcast um wh why bank holidays were called what they were and which one was which and um it, this one coming up is indeed labor day i believe right i'm going to turn off the camera and do my eyeshadow and i'll come back and i'll show you my outfit of the afternoon when i'm done right makeup is done the sun's gone in now it's not quite so nice as it was earlier eyeshadow palette for anyone who's interested in today's eyeshadow is this one from beauty bay this came in a mystery box that i bought to do an unboxing of on here last year um and it looks like that and it was a bit scary and rainbowish when i first got it and i didn't think i'd use it very much but it's really lovely quality and um Someone asked me in a video that went up a few, the light is bloody awful here. Um, someone asked me in a video that went up yesterday, I think, um, what eyeshadow I was wearing and it happened to be this one. So I looked it up to put a link in for her and it's down to £15 in the sale at the moment, half price. So you get 32, no, 42 colours in here apparently. And for reference, I have on this one this one this one today um yeah really nice i like it a lot I'll, I'll pop a link down there if you, anybody's interested in that um right it's time to get dressed actually one thing i was going to do was tidy up some of this mess here so i'm going to do that and then get dressed right outfit of the afternoon stroke evening oh i can't wait to get this hair sorted out i really can't it's just it's a nightmare a nightmare i tell you right this outfit is i've got my ted baker tan tote there which goes with my little shoes from next i need to talk to you about these these are newish and very happy with these I need to talk to you about them in oh i don't know a video at some point um this top is from vintage i think it's one of the sort of made in italy type brands don't think it's got a specific brand but i love the color really love the color um and i've got my harper jeans on my harper crop jeans from marks and spencers again really happy with these tried these on in a recent um not get ready with me recent marks and spencers haul and some of the best jeans i've bought in ages in terms of fit i really like these and makeup I've already done and these earrings i've had for I'm pretty sure I bought these in a market in Acapulco in the early 90s when I worked on the ships. I don't wear them often, but they're just the perfect colour to go with today's jumper. So, yay for that. Right, I need to go and switch the rest of my stuff from my black handbag into my tan handbag. 
and then I am off to the hairdressers. Anyway, I'm gonna call this a vlog. I hope everybody, I don't know when you're going to see this, by the time you see this, um, oh, I don't know, anyway. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll link everything I talked about in the description box. And have a good week. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.